everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome back. It's 2019. I imagine if you ask Diane Abbott what 17 plus 1 is, she'd reply 20 or 19. This is finally the year that science fiction film Blade Runner is set in, so while we perhaps count down to Elon Musk selling us tickets to the off-world colonies, let's maybe take a look at what the next few months have in store down here on Earth, why not? First to America, where a new House of Representatives have just taken their seats and promised to pass all sorts of crazy laws for the Senate, of course, to veto and vote down a few days later. I was going to make an analogy about the Democrats having a shiny new car but no petrol to put in it, except you can still use a broken car to store stuff. This is more like one of those useless fake bookshelves you see in a pub. The US government will be a bit like Michael Schumacher's race car, in so much as it's not going to be doing or passing anything for a very long time. President Trump even said so much, pledging to keep the current budget showdown going and the government shutdown continuing for months and years if necessary, probably because the 2020 electioneering is going to kick into gear soon and he's going to be very busy on the campaign trail because elections in the US, of course, last longer than a Rolling Stones farewell tour. In the UK, it's about 80 or so days until Brexit happens. Then Theresa May can finally resign, the Conservatives can break out into civil war over the succession, and the Labour Party can of course be relied to stand on at the sides, arguing about anti-Semitism or whether anyone ever figured out what the single market was in the end. The single market, wasn't that the thing that Lemba Opic used to talk about going online for, the single market? I guess the anti-Semitism thing will be a recurring story later in the year, so I won't dwell on it. And you know, I'm not saying they're naive, but I can imagine Jeremy Corbyn trying to recognise Jewish Labour MPs by emulating a school teacher and handing out congratulatory gold stars, a bit like primary school teachers in 1930s Germany. Before, of course, blaming a combination of the BBC and Paul Dacre, who I actually thought resigned as editor of the Daily Mail last year, but who am I to judge? Anyway, where will it all end up? Where will we be next year? Well, I don't know, do I? I've not got 2020 vision. Get it? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.